Now charge for Cullen. Cullen has scored. Krista Cullen brings Great Britain level. Here is our warrior, Krista Cullen, uh, who scored, essentially scored. We've just been notified that there is a, a cheetah in the area, uh, a male cheetah that has hurt its back right hind leg. Well, we found this um, beautiful cheetah who has this injury and we managed to dart him. He was unfortunately in quite an awkward position, uh, managed to dart him there and then we were able to get some samples from him to learn about these animals. This DNA is so imperative. This animal was spotted um, by the scouts. These are the people who are the water people that have walked these lands and know that the animals, and they're the guardians. The guardians that have walked through for years following elephant and now spotting this injured animal. He's such a thin animal. These guys are gonna do all they can because that's all we can do is trying to recover this leg. So amazing work by the scouts. It's so important to me that this area is a success, that we're able to utilise the knowledge and the understanding of the water people to learn what we can. You know, back in 1945, there was the national park created uh, in Savo East, and at that point, the water community were ousted and were moved out of the national park and live the other side of the boundary of the conservancy. You can see by the elders and the passion in their faces as they talk of the years in which they went across these lands um, harvesting in a sustainable fashion, it, it, it's emotional. It's emotional because they've had to change. They've had to adapt their traditions, their ways of life. I've learned everything from Shadi, tracking the animal, understanding where, where the wind might swirl slightly and the animal might turn to face us. And it's important that those kind of traditional elements from the Wata tribe themselves, in tracking, in understanding, in being at one with that animal, so that then we can pursue it, get nice and close to it, understand it, and hopefully, ultimately, protect it. It's so humbling to put yourself in and amongst a tribal community such as the Wata. They understand what it is to exist here and ultimately without them out there watching, listening and us ultimately learning and passing it down through your ancestry and your generations. The knowledge, the understanding of fundamentally what grows and what lives here 
will be lost if those people are lost from this land.